Ooh, ooh. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to day one, actually day two, of Spooky Toberfest. This is uh, War Boss Tay's October event called Spooky Toberfest. Uh, as it uh, turns out, Spooky Toberfest this year coincides with my Extra Life campaign. So I will be running an Extra Life campaign here for Play It Painted. And um, I want to talk to you a little bit about that because this is your chance to help out some kids in need and uh, hopefully win some swag as well. Okay, so um, here are the models that I painted last night during the live feed. Uh, this is the Frank Miller Batman and then uh, Luz Bell from Anima Tactics. Tonight I'm going to add Kagamaru from Anima Tactics. Uh, super fun model. You can see I kind of have him balancing on a tree stump. Kind of in typical super ninja fashion there. Very fun models. I enjoyed painting all of these. Um, but here's what I'm going to get at. I actually have a chance to win this model here, this Frank Miller Batman, if I can get it to focus on the guy. <laughs> um, yeah, by donating to my Extra Life campaign. So if you donate to my Extra Life campaign, and I posted that info on the War Boss Tay uh, uh, 2015 painting group, uh, for $5 towards my campaign, you will get one entry for this model. You just have to enter in your notes. You just put in FM Batman and you will have an entry on this online raffle that will take place November 7th. Now, the cool thing about that is $5 per entry, 15 will put you in all the online raffles and uh, you can enter as many times as, as you want uh, for any particular raffle. There's a list of, of uh, online raffles that uh, I will be including. It's mostly min uh, limited edition stuff from various uh, ranges. The other thing I'll, I'll say is um, you can actually, um, yeah, like I said, you can you can pick the ones that the the raffles that you want to take place in, and uh, that should be great. And the more uh, money that I raise for the the campaign, the more miniatures I will throw in to the raffles. So. I have more limited edition stuff to go, so the higher we go, the more, the closer I get towards my fundraising goal, the more things that will be added. Okay, so the question for Spooky Toberfest, uh, what is the uh, horror, Nemo horror movie that uh, I guess left a mark, right? One that really scared you or, or left an impression on you. Uh, for me, it's going to be the original Dawn of the Dead, uh, which was, I believe, made in the late 70s or early 80s forget which what which it was but I watched it every day for like a summer when I was like eight or nine years old and that really freaked me out with the uh, the slow zombies I'm more afraid of the slow zombies than I am of fast zombies and I liken that to kind of like the uh, inevitability of the slow zombies fast zombies you know they're coming they're screaming at you they're yelling at you to me it's not as scary as like the fact that I'm filming this my back is turned to the door and there could be a slow zombie just kind of lurching towards me that I can't even hear yet until he's too close and then it's a crowd of them and it's too late. That always scared me much more than uh, than fast zombies. So slow zombies scare me, particularly that scene in Dawn of the Dead when uh, they show the little child zombie that's kind of clawing at a glass door. Ooh, that freaked me out. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's my scary moment and that's that left an impression on me. So I really do love zombies. I love the zombie theme. But slow zombies are the scary ones to me, not the fast ones. That's going to do it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.